conduct a test at the alpha equals 0.01 level of significance by determining part A, the null and alternative hypothesis, B, the test statistic, and C, the p-value, and assume samples were obtained independently and from a large population using simple random sampling. So that meets our, our conditions for running a two prop Z test. So test whether P1 is greater than P2. So there's our alternative. The samples are, and they give us the values. So our null is always equals. So P1 equals P2, and then it says P1 is greater than P2. So part A is the only choice that makes sense there, right? Determine the test statistic. Now we're just using technology on this. Now let me warn you, do not click view an example on this. It, it, they do everything by hand. I'm not sure why they're still doing that, but most of their problems, if you click view an example, let's check this out. So the first part's not bad, but the second part, again, same type of problem, we begin to find p hats, and then we begin to find the sampling distribution, and then find z. Um, that's a pain, so we don't want to do all that. Let's just use the TID384, and then we'll come over and use StatCrunch. Okay, so we're going to press Stat, scroll over the test. We have two proportions. So we're going to go to 2 prop Z test, number 6. Okay, so X1 is 116. N1 is 246. X2 is 133. And N2 is 305. And we want P1 greater than P2, which is what we have. And calculate. You could also select draw. Either one is fine. So our P value, so here's our Z, test, our test statistic here. Z at 0.83. So you can kind of tell from the Z, right, that this is not going to be significant. We're, all, we're less than one standard deviation away, this particular difference. So the P value, and if you kind of look at the proportions here, one of the proportions, P1, is 47%. And P2 is 44% or so. So that difference is not enough to be significant with this particular sample size. So our p-value, but we let statistics tell us that. We don't, have to, we don't actually have to base it just on our intuition. It's nice to have some numerical backup here. So p-value is 0 It's pretty high by almost any standard, so let's see if they tell us. Alpha was at 0 0.01, so this is definitely bigger than 0 0.01. You know, a difference this large would happen. Let me pull up the TI again. So again, a difference this large between 0.47 and point, 0.471 and 0.436, it's going to happen 20% of the time. So we're not willing to, to reject the fact that these things um, could be equal. So do not reject HO. Uh, careful about the reason though. There's not enough evidence to conclude that and then P1 is greater than P2. That's our alternative hypothesis. Okay, so I hope that helps. And on StatCrunch, we're going to go to Stat, StatCrunch, press Stat, and proportion stats, we have two samples with summary. And then just populate these fields. And since we're testing these are equal, this is the same thing as saying P1 minus P2 equals zero. And then we were look, testing that P1 is greater than. So imagine using some algebra and adding P2 to both sides. Another way to think about it. And here is our information here. There is our Z statistic. I think I made a typo here. Let me go back here. Edit 305. Sorry. There we go. It's off by just a hair. Okay, so here's our Z statistic, 0.83, and there's our p-value, 0.203. So I hope that helps.